Traffic at international border crossings between Croatia and Slovenia today is moving normally again following the deal reached in Brussels yesterday between the Croatian and Slovenian Prime Ministers and European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker. According to that deal, border officials are implementing targeted controls instead of systematic ones when the waiting time at the border increases to more than 15 minutes. In an interview for a daily newspaper, Prime Minister Andrei Plenković explaining his decision to dismiss three of Most's ministers on Friday has said Most needs to understand that the government must be unified and that its work doesn't function exactly the same as in Parliament. He claimed his party now had better options for forming a parliamentary majority than it did a year ago and appealed to the Croatian Peasants' Party to join his government, a possibility which its leader, Kresimir Beljak, has already dismissed. After launching the procedure in Parliament for a vote of no confidence in Finance Minister Zdravko Maric, the biggest opposition party, the SDP, has decided to do the same against Deputy Prime Minister and Economy Minister Martina Dalic for conflict of interest in the Agricor case. Dalic has responded that the government's and her interests as Deputy Prime Minister are deeply opposed to Agricor's former owner, Ivica Todoric's. She has also accused the SDP themselves of protecting Todoric's interests by trying to jeopardise the government-led process of stabilising the businesses of Agricor's companies and suppliers. Most believes the most honest way of resolving the current crisis is to call early parliamentary elections. Most MP Nikola Gormoya has said that after Plenković decided to protect Ivica Todoric's interests by removing Most from the government, the vote of no confidence in Finance Minister Zdravko Maric is irrelevant. He emphasizes that Plenković now has to prove that he has a parliamentary majority, otherwise he'll be held responsible for destabilizing the country. EU leaders have unanimously adopted the guidelines for the negotiations with the United Kingdom on its departure from the bloc. Accordingly, it has been agreed that future relations between the UK and the EU cannot be defined before solutions have been found for existing disagreements. These include the future status of EU citizens within the UK, payment of Britain's financial obligations towards the EU's budget, and how Northern Ireland's border with the EU will be managed. According to unofficial EU estimates, the UK owes around 60 billion euros to the European Union. Sport, and there are five rounds of the Croatian Football League remaining. Rijeka are top of the table, eight points clear of second-placed Dinamo Zagreb. Both teams won yesterday. Rijeka defeated Inter 2-0, while Dinamo beat Zibalia 6-0. Today, Istra play Hajduk at 4pm, while Split take on Slaven Belupo at 6pm. On Monday, Osijek host Lokomotiva also at 6pm. And in basketball, Zagreb Sedevita are the first team to reach the semi-finals of the Croatian Basketball Championships after defeating the Shibinik's Jolly 85-65 and winning both games in the best of three series. Meanwhile, after Split won their first match against Osijek at home, yesterday Osijek levelled the score, winning 85-65. The decisive game in the best of three series will be played on Wednesday in Split. Today, Zagreb play Shibinik while Zadar face Cibona. Shibenik and Zibona both won their first matches. This afternoon's forecast calls for mainly sunny weather, although there will be some passing light to moderate cloud cover inland. There will be a light to moderate northeasterly and easterly wind inland. On the coast, there will continue to be a light to moderate northeasterly Buda wind in places, with a moderate northwesterly wind on the open seas. Highest daily temperatures will be between 13 and 18 degrees Celsius inland and between 18 and 21 degrees on the coast and in the Istrian and Dalmatian interiors. Monday will be mainly sunny inland, although there could be a little rain during the evening and night in Gorski Kotar. On Tuesday it will be partly sunny but with rain in places, with the chance of heavier downpours increasing on Wednesday. On the coast, the first half of the next week will be mainly dry. Monday will be sunny, after which partly sunny weather is expected. There could be a little rain on Monday evening and during the night into Tuesday on the northern coast. There will be a light to moderate southwesterly and northwesterly wind, and temperatures will rise slightly.